Hey boys and girls. So I thought I would do a quick video because I'm I'm putting some more dreads up in my bangs because there was just too much there. So what I've decided to do is show you exactly how I attach them to my hair, how I get this bit ready because I'd already done this back like two weeks ago before I put them in so you didn't get to see that process. So here I am showing you how I attach my dreadlocks to my fine, straight, fluffy hair. Um, here's one I prepared earlier. It's just a straight little nubbin. My secret is this bad boy. It's crochet hook with a hook on it that is so tiny it is barely big enough to barely big enough to just grab a couple of hairs and pull it through. Um, so I've already started the process of separating it clearly. Um, this is not a traditional pattern but the rest of my head is already dreaded and I left my bangs out and I left way too much out for bangs. So this is what I'm doing. People are probably going to tell me, oh you're going to be able to see long. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Here's one that I prepared earlier that um, I just went to town with and it just takes a couple of minutes. Um, so that's that one. So let's grab this bad boy right in the middle. So I grab my hook and give it a little bit of a twist. Not too much though. I just want to just want to gather up like that much. And then I insert it through the hair and I start very gently pulling some of the hairs through that wad to create a knot. Now I'm going super super slowly right now. Let me show you how I how I would do it if I wasn't showing you. Now, if you don't have any experience using the crochet hook, I would not recommend it because it can really damage your hair, like snap it in half. And then you're left with all of these itty bitty little fucking tiny baby hairs. And that's, that's not a good look. You've got to try and, you know, sew the regrowth back into your dread as it comes in and um, but yeah it takes some practice so I recommend practicing with a hook and just you know if you already have dreads then I would yeah. if you already have a hook I would suggest like just Practicing wrapping your little wispy bits in there, and I'll show you how to do that in a second too. Okay, so maybe longer than just a minute, but I'm almost done. I try and dread as much of it down to the end as I possibly can. I mean, I like wispy ends, but they are counterproductive for what I'm doing, which is adding extensions. I mean, there's always going to be some, but see, look, one little nubby dread. I will tighten that up a little bit, but not too much because when I put the extension on, I want to be able to um, fit the hook through so that I can, if it gets too tight, it gets too hard to put the hook through. That's why I've actually got this size because um, I've seen a lot of dread heads that have like a 1.5 or a 1.25 or even a 2 mil uh, hook. But to me, that that's a huge hook. That's not going to fit through my dreads when they're tight. So 
All right, so that one's front and center. What am I gonna, am I gonna want a fatty or a skinny one? Um, the longest one because it's right there I want to be able to use it to tuck it back in Actually, I'm not putting it in right now anyway so yeah that was that was what I wanted to show you for that and then I will do these two and then I'll come back and show you how to attach it because I'm not sure I actually showed anybody how to attach it the other day I just um that was weird I just went and did it and chatted away to myself so yeah that is how I dread my fine little hair um I find there are different techniques there's back combing which is you know essentially just teasing the hair and then rolling it and then teasing it and then rolling it out and then teasing it out I, I, my hair's a little too short for that because, I mean, I can back comb it, but it's it's so fine and so short that it that works longer on that works better on longer hair. Um, and again, for the rip and twist method, my hair's too short. I find the hook works beautifully for me. Um, and if you don't like my technique for my hook, that's fine. Uh, please refrain from telling me that I'm doing it wrong because it works for my hair. Um, yeah, so I will come back later and show you how I put the dread on. Bye.